One day my hour-long journey from San Francisco to Stanford, I picked up a young man whose sign read simply going south. I was curious about where he was going. I said, how far are you headed? I only go to Palo Alto. That'll do me fine. Going to Santa Cruz? No, just south. All the way to Los Angeles? No, just south. Are you going as far as Mexico? I hope to go there someday. Nope, only headed south. I realized I was getting upset by these evasive answers from someone who claimed he wanted to live his life transparently, like an open book. When we got to the Stanford exit on Highway 101, I told my passenger to just get out here. Hey, man, why are you being so uncool? Look, I gave you a ride, and you refused to tell me where you are going. Oh, now I get it. You think I'm going somewhere, and you don't understand that I'm just going anywhere, as long as it's going south. I'm not headed to any destination, to any particular place, because I might not get rides to take me there. Then I'd be frustrated, and who wants to carry that mental load around? Not me. So by going only in a general direction, I am never upset if I get only a short ride, as long as it's headed south. You've made my day already by taking me this far. If I got no farther, I'd be happy, because now I am where I was headed south, you see. This story is quoted from the book, The Time Paradox, The New Psychology of Time That Will Change Your Life by Philip Zimbardo, an American psychologist and a professor emeritus at Stanford University. He said this about this experience. I realized that in my excessively future-oriented world, I went only to specific places, to standard destinations, for particular purposes. I could not imagine heading out without a travel plan, without having made reservations in advance. We generally aim for a life where we act, only, when we have a definite purpose. So we think that action without purpose is a waste of time. But we should not forget that a life without a purpose is as valuable as a life with a purpose.